change the music on this jukebox here? Oh my god, I can. Why did it take me this long to learn that you can change the saloon music on the jukebox? What's the most inappropriate song for a bar that I can think of? Oh, here we go. Let's do the wedding theme. Get everyone in the mood for marriage. Uh-huh. Absolutely. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh, oh, what a great wedding gift. Spreading weeds have caused damage to my farm. Wow, that dress, though. It is so very Haley. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Harvey, you don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's, it's just, it's just temporary. I know you're here at my wedding. Just, it's, it's, it, it, she means nothing to me. It's, it's only you. It's always been you. Just until, you know, I divorce you, but you don't, don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, we do already have a boost with Haley. So giving her those gifts after we got to 10 hearts, I guess really kind of paid off. Wonderful wedding day, dear. I'm gonna go see my boyfriend. Don't wait up! <laughs> it's a lot of work being a doctor. I don't eat as well as I should. I know, I saw the contents of your refrigerator. If I didn't live alone, I think it would be easier. You're gonna have to hold up on that. The other side of my bed is currently occupied, but don't worry, I'll make room for you here soon. In fact, I know you were literally just at my wedding mere hours ago, but don't worry about it. Oh, all my children are blonde. My babies have been blondified. Oh my god. Haley, what have you done to my children? I can't believe I ever dreamed of leaving Pelican Town. I'm so happy here now that I've got you. So, so very happy I am as well. Oh, hey, look at her room. I kind of wish there was a little dark room attachment. That would be nice. Still got her camera. And her vanity, of course. Can, can't not have the vanity. What a lovely spring day on the farm. Are you planting today? Let me know if I can help out in any way. That's so damn cute. Maybe I can't help with the heavy lifting, but I can offer moral support. Oh, is she gonna be my cheerleader? Let's go, farmer, let's go. Clap, 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 clap. Stop by my place if you ever need a confidential checkup. I could use an examination of some type or another, but I, d I don't think my wife would approve. You know what, as long as we don't tell her. I'm so glad you're home, I really missed you. I want to show you tonight just how much I miss you when you're away from me. <gasps> you're a thirsty bitch. Oh my God, Haley! <gasps> Scandalous. Oh, she's out taking pictures. Say goat cheese. Oh, I could go for some goat cheese right now. Where is he? Harvey. He keeps disappearing somewhere. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Harvey, how am I supposed to romance you on the side if I can't even find you? Damn. Hi, sweetie. How was your day? Cool. I lost my boyfriend like actually i can't find him it's a little bit traumatic so you know apologies if i'm a bit distant tonight yeah. Ooh, she in her room go ahead and start your day honey i'm just putting on my makeup oh there he is the closest i ever came to giving up on medicine was during the pediatric rotation of my residency in the trauma center whoa oh it was a lot to handle uh, but I'm glad I pushed onward to care for those who need it. What else is there to do? Okay, like I can't even make a snarky quip or something. That's that's horrible. Oh my god <laughs> Holy shit <coughs> Oh my god <coughs> I'm so stunned. I forgot how to breathe <gasps> oh. So just to satisfy my sick and twisted curiosity, I kind of want to see. You're already married, you weirdo! <laughs> curiosity satisfied! Thank you, Harvey! Go on about your business!
I don't think I've ever done that before. I just kind of wanted to see. Haley, it's nighttime. Are you still putting on your makeup? How long does it take? I mean, I've known of beauty routines to take quite a while, but damn. What a great day. And I have a feeling now that you're home that it's going to be an even better night. Oh. I definitely didn't try to, you know, propose to someone else today. If you heard that I did. No, you didn't. Uh, I'm fine. I have to admit I was a bit of a drama queen when I was younger. You mean younger as in like a year ago? Or less? A few months ago? Okay, maybe a pretty big drama queen. But it's just crazy to think about. Those teenage years are like something out of someone else's life. They're so distant now. Oh my god, there's a whole infestation on the island farm. Cat! You need to tend to your half of the world! Damn, what is this? What the hell? This is outrageous! Holy shit! Okay, you know what? I got things to do. I got people to romance. I can't be bothered with gardening, tending, and worrying about weeds and shit. I need coconuts. Maybe I should start coming to the island for coconuts from now on. I'm kind of getting a lot. Although, really, I probably don't need too much more because I'm almost at 13 hearts with Haley. And it's really not going to be too much longer, I think, before we can max out the relationship. And then I just don't need to give her anything else ever again. Oh my god! Oh, those slimes were fucking! Oh, they made a baby! Well, I'm going to kill your baby. I'm sorry. This was also kind of like not, because otherwise that baby would totally definitely kill me. The survival of the fittest and all that. It's the circle of life. And it moves us up. Uh, looks like you're having a real good visit with your sister there, Haley. Just standing in front of the bookcase while she's in a completely different room. Yeah, okay, sure. Hi, honey, I'm mostly just here to visit Emily. Real good visit there. Oh, hi. Do you have any medical questions? I had such a good time in town today, but now I'm ready to wash up and make dinner. Hungry for anything in particular? She's like a full-on housewife. Holy heck. You're so cute with your hair damp from the rain, but you better shower first if you want to go to bed with me. Damn, and I thought Abigail was raunchy. My goodness, it's not a competition, Haley. Also, it's my fucking bed. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I feel like. I'm gonna kick you out just because I feel like it. Just listen, you don't get to tell me when I can and can't go to bed. It's my bed. Our children are having such a different childhood than I had, but I'm so grateful they get to grow up on a beautiful farm like this. What do you mean, our children? You've been here for like four or five days. These ain't your children, babes. I'm just saying. They may have your hair, unfortunately, but they are not your children. Hey, Haley. Is that an interesting plant? Mm hmm. Quite fascinating. I never thought I could love someone as much as I love you. Thank you for always coming home to me. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, y'all. The guilt. It is setting in. I'm just gonna go to bed and... Not think about it. I wore this dress for you today because I know how much you love it. It makes me happy to dress up for you. I mean, you wear the same thing every day, but you know, that's, that's just... It's, I appreciate the sentiment. We have 14 hearts yet. Oh, come on! Ah! Well, tomorrow's egg festival should be enjoyable, don't you think? I, I don't know. Depends on if Abigail wins the egg hunt or not. I'm going to ruin her. Just like when I divorced her. I'm documenting our time here on this farm. Today's another memory in the making. Bestie, I think you're gonna have some memories that you don't want to keep. This is literally gonna be like the f f f frickin' Fall Out Boy song, thanks for the memories, even though they weren't so great. Haley, why are you talking to Alex? I thought you didn't like him, because he called you snotty. I was going to eat some eggs, but then I remembered I'm on a spring diet. Uh, Harvey, 
How you doing? Eggs are fine, but I'd advise against eating 30 per day. I, I, I would also advise against that. That is some very sound medical advice there, Harvey. Thank you. Okay, listen, Haley. I don't like how close you and Alex are. This is my moment. This is my time to shine in the egg hunt. And you're not even paying any attention to me. You're d still talking to Alex. I gotta say I don't feel very hot about this. But you know what? I'm still gonna win anyway. I'm not gonna get distracted. We go! Egg. Uh. Egg. Small children, move out of my way. I don't remember how many I need to beat Abigail, but I'm pretty sure she cheats. Anyway. Ooh, ha! <sighs> I smoked her. Haley's still talking to Alex. You know what? I don't care. I won. I definitely am the winner for certain. Hell yeah. Can you pay attention to me now, Haley? Still no. Well, I hope you don't mind it if I still say hi to Alex during the festivals. Does she, does she hear me? Is, is the game, like, picking up the audio of what I'm saying? Do, do I do I need to turn off my microphone? I do. In fact, I do mind. It's a small town, so I feel like we've all got to be friends. Okay, but you don't need to be close friends with the dude you were literally pining after before you and I got together. I'm just saying, there's this little thing called boundaries. You know what you get for your birthday? Nothing, nada, zilch, zero, not a damn thing. Okay, this is, uh, in fact, I'm gonna go talk to my boyfriend. That's what you get for your birthday. Me going to speak to another spouse. Deal with it. Oh, Harvey looks busy right now. Okay, Harvey, listen. You're really kind of putting a damper on my point there. I was really trying to be like, you know, a little more triumphant and empowered there. Um, you really kind of just stepped all over that. But, you know, it's... Fine, I guess. Thank you for a wonderful birthday yesterday. And I was happy to model my birthday suit for you last night. Oh! 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 Whoa! Ma'am! Pictures? No. No? Uh, um, anyway, uh, yes. Wonderful birthday. I definitely gave you a good birthday. For sure got you a present. Absolutely. I'm the greatest spouse ever. Haley, please don't talk to my ex-wife. <laughs> oh no. Miss Penny, the cover fell off my math book. Let me see. It's okay, you don't need math anyways. Math is for nerds. Oh no, your books are falling apart. They're just too old. But new books are expensive, so we'll just have to make do with what we have. Does this mean I don't have to do my homework? Vincent. It's okay, I can give him something tomorrow. It's fine, we're not gonna worry about it. Oh my god, child, hello. Oh, there goes my children. Sprinting through the walls again. Don't you hate when your kids do that? Hashtag parenting. Oh. Hello. Hi, honey. Hey, I have an idea. I want to get everyone together for a charity cakewalk. Uh, it's kind of like musical chairs, but everyone wins and gets cake. You'll see. It'll be on the next sunny day in the town square. Uh, would you mind bringing a chocolate cake? Is it yes or yes begrudgingly? Yes. I can't guarantee there won't be a bite or two taken out of it, but, you know. I'll meet you in the town square tomorrow, weather permitting. Don't overwork yourself. Doctor's orders. 
Oh yeah, order me more, daddy. <laughs> Um, uh, anyway, um, your health is important to me. Yep, absolutely, totally sure. You look like you could use a shower after such a hard day of work. Would you like any company? These dialogue mods go real hard, I swear. And it's always the ladies that get the most, you know, sploosh. Anyway, um, I'm bringing a pink cake. I hope you don't mean to the shower. Oh no, I think some dialogue lines got a bit crisscrossed there. Um, I mean, I don't know, maybe some people are into that in the shower. You, you know, I'm, I'm not about to yuck somebody's yum. It could be a nice time. You never know. This is a perfect day for a photo shoot. Let's go out into the fields and take pictures of each other with the crops. What crops? <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> oh. I brought a chocolate cake that's probably like two years old, but it's fine. It's probably still delicious. <gasps> hey, oh good, you brought the cake. Seems really moist. <laughs> moist. <clears throat> Thanks. It's a pretty good turnout, huh? Um, Haley, when do we stop? M my legs. <gasps> Whoops, forgot to blow the whistle. All right, everyone should be standing on a numbered square. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Your number determines which cake you win. Okay, let's see who gets what. I could go for some cake right now. Okay, let's see here. Carolyn, what number are you? Okay, you've won. Mayor Lewis's cave carrot loaf with extra fiber. Marty was sad. <laughs> oh no. Emily, you've got Pam's chocolate stout cupcakes with aged bourbon buttercream. Oh, that sounds so delicious. Oh my gosh. Emily would hate that because it's not organic, sugar free health bullshit. I'll take it. You're in for a treat, kid. Next, Jess, you've got. Clint's wild horseradish cobbler. Clint, I don't think you understood the assignment. Oh no, poor Jess. It's an old family recipe. I baked it right in the smelting oven. <gasps> oh no, Clint, you're gonna poison this poor child. Oh, um, I'm, I may have burnt the bottom a little, so uh, you might have to peel off a layer of charred matter, but the rest is totally edible. <gasps> oh no, poor Jess. Jess, I'll bring you a second cake, honey. It's okay, don't worry. Oh my god. Okay, next up is Vincent. We've got Robin's triple syrup and cream strawberry sugar log. Jody, your child's gonna be vibrating. <laughs> oh no. Next up, Jody, you're gonna take home Emily's organic red velvet cake colored with beets. Like I said, health food nonsense. And last but not least, Pam, you're the lucky winner of my wife's deluxe chocolate cake. Thanks, kid. Thanks everyone for joining in. We raised over 5,000 gold. What's the money for anyway? You buying a new purse? George. Actually, it's for Penny. Penny, the other day I overheard you talking with Jazz and Vincent about their school books. It sounded like you could use some help. Can we talk for just a second about how it takes Haley, who like has no affiliation with these kids whatsoever, as far as they're concerned, she's just some random fucko in town. And she's like, oh, hey, let's maybe do something about this so these kids have proper educational materials and not, you know, their teacher. Penny? New books? <gasps> yeah, cause you didn't do anything about it yourself. Did you hear that kids? You're getting brand new school books. <laughs> and Vincent's upset. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much to both of you.
Are you sure about that? Hey, Lewis, since we're funding education without touching the town's coffers, you'll be lowering our business tax, right? Oh. <gasps> the sound he made! Well, we finally got Haley's final cutscene. After so long waiting to get some other ones, and now it's time to file for a divorce. Divorce papers have been filed, but your spouse won't know until tomorrow morning. <laughs> hey, Harvey, I'm almost single. What do you got to say, Haley? It was a big success. Thanks for helping out, honey. Oh, you're so welcome. In fact, I got another present for you. You'll get it tomorrow morning. Y'all know the drill. Divorce papers are filed. And since we are romancing all of the spouses in order from least favorite to most favorite, we gotta go over why Haley ranks where she does on the list. And she is higher than most others because we love us an excellently done character arc. And I think Haley's is one of the best in the game. She goes from being this spoiled, snobby brat to actually caring about others and doing charity work. Talk about an evolved queen. The, the snobbery is a little not fun to get through at the beginning. Which is the only downside, I'm sure a lot of people immediately turn away from her forever after their first interactions with her, which is fair and valid. But past that, she really does become a lovely person. Not good enough though, because we still got some more to do and the other people to get through. All right, Haley, any final words? Not a damn thing. Alrighty then. <sighs> well, time to end this. <laughs> and after probably the quickest marriage that we have had thus far, she is gone. And our kids are no longer yassified. Oh my God. <laughs>